In this video, I've got three fun, easy to make, but most importantly, very, very tasty cocktails that you can make with Captain Morgan Pineapple Rum. Hey Drinks fans, I am Steve the Barman and I give you drinks and cocktail inspiration around some of your favorite brands. So if you like the sound of that, give this video a like, then subscribe to my channel and dive into some of my future videos after you've finished watching this. And today's video, I'm really, really excited about this. I'm in the UK, but I've still managed to get hold of some of the flavored Captain Morgans and I really, really like them. They're completely different. You won't see them, they're not on camera, but I've moved my D EMFs, Dead Man's Fingers to the top shelf, they're completely different. More fresh and more cleaner in taste uh, for me, less syrupy. And I really, really like playing with this. So the first up is the pineapple. I've got three cocktails for you, uh, kind of, and I want you guys to come up with names for these drinks as well. All the recipes will be in the show description below. Uh, so dive into that. But as always with my drinks, uh, when I create cocktails, I want you to name them. The first one is kind of a simple uh, pineapple and ginger kind of flip on a mojito. I've got a punch coming up for cocktail number two. And then I've got kind of a cheeky highball serve for you for cocktail number three. So let's dive straight in it. The first cocktail I'm going to show you is a kind of, as I just said, pineapple and ginger mojito, but done simply, no need to muddle limes or anything like that. Uh, and I just think this is a stunning, stunning serve. So the pineapple rum, for those of you watching in the UK, it's a 35% uh, ABV, uh, which is 70 proof in the UK, in the US. Um, and it is, it's, even though it's UK stamped, but it is a US bottle, it's uh, 750 mil, not the 700s that we get in the UK. So, uh, nice tall highball glass, I'm going to make it in there. Uh, the first ingredient I want is, um, I'm going to go 45, 45 mil, one and a half ounces of Captain Morgan. You can go two ounces or 60 mil if you want, but let's just go, let's just go a bit cautious. So, that's your first ingredient. Absolutely lovely jubbly in there. The second ingredient I want is just some uh, freshly squeezed lime juice. Normally, uh, when I do master classes, I get people to slice up limes and then we'll muddle it and get all that zest out. But as I say, I'm just going to keep this nice and easy for you. So, uh, 22 and a half mil, three quarters of an ounce of freshly squeezed lime juice. There we go. My lime juice has got the pulp in there as well, so that'll be lovely jubbly. Now the next ingredient I want is some uh, sugar syrup. The thing I say about sugar syrup in mojitos and daiquiris and all that kind of stuff, it's a lot easier to sweeten cocktails up at the end than it is to sour them back down. So I always say uh, on the side of caution uh, with this, I'm just gonna start off with 15 mil, uh, which is half an ounce of just sugar syrup. And as I say, try at the end, if you need to add any more sugar, then be my guest. But this is normally about right, and especially with the uh, a flavored rum like Captain Morgan's there. Um, so we've got that. I just want some uh, mint leaves now. So I want about 10, 10 to 12 decent mint leaves. Coming out right, there we go. One, two, let's just strip these. And the heads, it's about five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12. Right, and always, as I always say with uh, my mint, oh, just drop two. There we go. With the mint leaves, don't put them in the glass and muddle them. Just palm your hand, give them a spank, and that just awakes the aromas. Gets all that lovely, frinty, uh, minty, fresh. Frinty, I like that. That's a new word, isn't it? Frinty, frinty, fresh. Minty, fresh kind of aromas just flying around. And then just to finish this off, I'm going just my favorite uh, ginger beer. Whatever your favorite ginger beer is, this for me in the UK kind of sits between Fever Tree, which is bone dry, and Old Jamaica, which for me now is really too sweet, even though I did used to love it, I used to swear by that. So this is just mine, Franklin's and Sons. I love this one. Uh, and I'm just going uh, probably 60 mil, two ounces of ginger beer. There we go, so that just replaces the soda water. Now, uh, ice, I'm lucky I've got both ice cubed and crushed. I always say start off with a few cubes uh, for me. That'll do. And then I'm just gonna take my long bar spoon, I'm gonna bring the limes and normally, that, sorry, there's no limes in there, but normally the limes in the mint to the top, but I'm just gonna stir this through. Mm. Oh, hello. And then top this up with crushed ice. Oh, that, that tasted amazing. 
And then uh, just to garnish, another sprig of mint. Pop that in there. I've got a spent lime for all my juice. Gonna use that as well. Pop that in there. And then little bartender trick with mojitos. The straw always goes beside the mint. So when you have a little sip, it's the mint that goes straight up your nostrils. That is absolutely amazing. You don't have to, the obvious name for this is a pineapple and ginger mojito, but that is stunning. And then just to pimp this up even more, if you wanted to, I think that tastes amazing there. But the other little trick you could add is some Angostura bitters or uh, this is the brand I use, virtually identical sort of things. Uh, slightly, slightly, slightly different in taste, but Miss Bitters, bitters aromatic. You could, you could kind of just throw some bitters, a couple of dashes maybe over the top, just to kind of give that. But you really, really don't have to. I just think that's a nice, nice little touch to add in. But oh, I really, really love that. Mm. That is amazing. I really love these Captain Morgans. Right, so that's cocktail number one. Uh, cocktail number two, as I say, it's gonna be kind of a punch. I'm gonna serve it up in this lovely sort of stemmed highball. It's just a highball glass. You could use whatever glass you wanted to. You could, you could even go pina colada glass if you really wanted to, or you could just go tall straight glass. It really, really doesn't matter, whatever you fancy using. Uh, but this one is a shaken cocktail, another nice and simple one. So I'm gonna start off with my rum again, Captain Morgan's pineapple rum. Uh, and for this one, I'm going 60 mil, two ounces of Captain Morgan pineapple. Lovely jubbly, that's the first ingredient. The second ingredient I'm going for, I've had a little rearrange, it needs to come on camera, because I, I forget about it, I never use it. Uh, I've got pimento dram, allspice dram, love this kind of clove, cinnamon, uh, hints of vanilla, super, super vibrant. I need to start using this again. I'm just going uh, seven and a half mil, which is a quarter of an ounce of allspice. I think there's various, various brands, various different uh, allspice drams, pimento drams around the world. It's just bitter truth in the UK. Uh, so that's that, my sugar element, uh, ingredient number three. I'm going for, regular viewers will know it's coming here. I, I tend to say orgeet because I'm, I'm Cornish chav. <laughs> I've heard other people say orjo, but I do now have it on good authority, although there's still room here uh, for negotiation. Good authority that it's orjat, or I've even heard, so, uh, another way of saying it is orjet. Um, so, orjo, orjit, orjat, orjet. <laughs> it's basically an almond syrup, but this is a proper one with almond, rose, uh, orange, uh, uh, orange flower water in there, a uh, little tiny hint of vanilla. It is stunning. I love this one. My favourite, without a shadow of a doubt, my favourite orjat uh, that you can get hold of. It's just brilliant. Uh, right. Uh, and I'm going for 15 mil, which is half an ounce of that. Now I just need some uh, lime juice. So I'm going freshly squeezed lime juice, 22 and a half mil, three quarters of an ounce. And then the final, I'm gonna let those flavors do the work, but the final ingredient for the punch is I'm just gonna use some water. I've just got cheap and cheerful bottled water. Uh, but I, I love, one of my favorite punches is just water. Rum, lime, maybe honey. Uh, I love honey, but just water. Oh, it's just simply stunning. Um, so I'm going, uh, what am I gonna go? I'm going 30, 30 mil, which is one ounce. You can add a bit more if you want to, but I'm just going 30 mil, one ounce. So that is my, uh, that is kind of my uh, recipe there, ingredients. I say all the recipes will be in the in the description below. Right, I'm just going to ice this down, and then we're going to give it a good hard, fast shake, proper welly. Right, and when you are happy, that's done. Let's pretend we're in a professional bar. Fresh ice. Don't normally. Fresh ice. That'll do. 
Uh, just gonna single strain. Oh yeah, perfect, look at that. Look at that. Uh, just gonna give it a little bit of crushed ice just on top. Lovely jubbly, and then to garnish, whatever you fancy, I've obviously got pineapple, so I've got a pineapple spear, pineapple leaf just there. I've got a little chunk of pineapple or, or a half a slice. Let's go a little chunk. Lovely jubbly. And then again, you could do exactly the same as I did with that. You could even do some bitters just on top, just to give it a color contrast if you really wanted to. Let's just try it without the bitters first. Oh. Pineapple. Pineapple and almond, the orgeat. Let's try and say orgeat. Let's try and do it the French way. Pineapple and orgeat, oh, it's just amazing. We do get those little subtle hints of the allspice coming through there. It's just simple, fun drink. Right then, quick uh, shout out to my patrons, the point of the video where I'd like to say thank you very much for your love and support. Go and check out my Patreon, my membership community. Um, you can always download the, my free cocktail book. It's just there off any video. Have a check out in the comments, the pinned comment below. Uh, but part of the perks of my Patreon, I just love to try and get back. It is my membership community, but I try and teach as much as I can, help people out. One of the perks is you always get the updated cocktail book every single month. I update that, bigger and better version. Simple serves every week, exclusive content. So just go and check out my Patreon. And if you feel like you want to get involved, then I'd love you to sort of sign up and become a legend. Right then, let's dive into the third and final cocktail. As I say, kind of a simple highball serve, this one as well. Oh, this is just fun. Love this one. Proper, proper fun. So uh, let's just dive straight in. We're going to shake it down. Another five ingredients. Really, really simple. Uh, so again, 60 ml. I'm going for 60 ml, two ounces of Captain Morgan pineapple. Lovely jubbly. Ingredient number two, I'm getting there with this bottle. It's nearly gone. Uh, just some banana liqueur. Uh, and I am, I keep saying, I'm gonna swap over to Jif Art uh, when this is done. It might even go today because I've got another video to film with uh, and I'm gonna use banana, so it might actually go today. Uh, but I'm just gonna use 15 ml, uh, which is half an ounce of banana. Banana liqueur. I just think that the uh, Gif Giffard, no, it's a Giffard, the Giffard have got a premium banana. It tastes absolutely amazing, much better than kind of the bowls, the Kuiper and all that sort of stuff. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna go into next. Right, uh, freshly squeezed lime juice, uh, 15 ml, uh, half an ounce. Just a tiny bit of sugar syrup coming now. Again, uh, 15, 15 ml, add slightly less if you want to. Uh, 15 ml, half an ounce. And then the final ingredient is coming after the shake. So I'm just gonna ice this up. And remember, I do want your name suggestions in the comments below. Let's get involved in this. Pineapple and banana, this one. Right, hard, fast shake, proper welly, 10, 12 seconds. Right, that's nicely done. And then the final ingredient coming, this is where I say you can play about with the sugar levels if you want, because I'm actually going to use Sprite in there. If you wanted to use soda water uh, because of that sugar, then feel free. If you don't need the sugar because you're using Sprite, again, feel free. I am just going 60 ml, two ounces of Sprite. In here. And as always, first time you're watching, I pour it in the shaker to save so it doesn't sort of layer and settle and then you have to stir it in a drink. I just always pour, uh, I have done for years, always pour it straight in there. Uh, again, let's pretend we're proper. Just because I've had a nice delivery and I've got loads of ice, you could just pour straight out of there if you want and use that ice. No drama, especially if I own, but if you're in a pub or bar, always try and be professional, present it with fresh ice. Remember, you're trying to sell these, so. Right, just strain that over. There we go. And then I'm gonna to top up with crushed ice. Lovely jubbly. And then again, garnish. It's up to you. Garnish with a spent lime if you wanted to. 
I'm going to use the pineapple slice in this one, I think. Just, just wrap that around there. Pineapple slice. And pineapple spear. Pineapple leaf. And again, you don't have to, but I'm actually, I'll try it quickly first. Oh, that's really good. Oh, that's proper refreshing. Again, you could just throw on some Angostura bitters on top. A couple of dashes if you wanted to. I do like doing that for the little colour contrast. Here we go. Lovely jubbly. Right. And there we have it. That is my three, which is going to be my favourite. Oh, this is going to be really hard to split. Uh, Mummy Barman's will be up on screen as well. Her little, her little review. Uh, needs to go in that order, don't we? Right. Oh, that's good. Mmm. Easy. One, two, three. It's not. I've just said that. <laughs> just because I, I cop out so much. I can't split them. I've, oh, just make them try them and let me know what you think. 